Sometimes it feels like the whole family is preparing for the HSC. How can I help my child do well? If your child is presently studying the HSC, there's some really practical ways in which you can assist them. I know when my daughter was doing her HSC, I, I thought I was prepared for it because, you know, I had taught HSC classes and it was just, it was so different as a parent going through it with her than what it was as a teacher. Number one is patience. We all need a great deal of patience. There is this sense of fear with exams that you're going to be told that you're not as smart as you'd like to think you are, or that you're going to be told that you're not good enough. So however the stress manifests itself, we need as parents to be able to identify it and to mitigate it because a stressed child is not going to do well in exams. Firstly, I'd say don't panic, especially because it can be very, very frustrating for parents in my experience whereby they know that their, their children should be doing more work or whatever the case may be, and they're not. I think they need to be aware, particularly in creative arts, is that it's often very emotive and it's quite close often to the kids' hearts, so they do get very emotional about their work. So that does provide another layer of stress. They need to take good care of themselves because they do put a lot of pressure on themselves and we often find that kids that put a lot of pressure on themselves don't last the distance because they sort of fall apart at the end. Some of the things I would say to parents is make sure your children are getting a, a very good diet in terms of nutrition. Uh, the other thing would be to make sure that they have a regular sleep pattern. Sleep deprivation is one of the major issues with today's adolescent. Their phones go off 24-7. You need to talk about this with your child, your new adult, and work through how much sleep do you need, how much sleep are you getting, because a tired student is not an effective student. They need an outlet. They need an outlet to have fun. They need an outlet to be physical. They need an outlet to be with their family. They need all of that to get through. You need to encourage them to get up and go for a walk, to still play sport, to still be active. Students are often told that they need to develop a study timetable and I say to them that they need to actually schedule their life and they need to make sure that they put time in for schoolwork, for socialising, for sport and for friends and family because if they don't schedule all of that they will often find that something's missing. Most importantly I, I would say to parents try to have your children leading a normal life as possible. Um, you know, just because they are doing the HSC doesn't mean they don't have time to do the washing up or time to do the household chores, time to have a job, time to go and see their friends and so forth. If students want to have a part-time job while they're doing their HSC, that's something that is perfectly okay, as long as they keep it to a manageable amount, which is usually less than 10 hours across the week. Anything more than 10 hours, not so good. The biggest thing I think is balance. and especially with busy students and students who are retaining the top marks and you have a look at what they're doing, they're engaged in sport or cultural or music or whatever the case may be and they're doing work, they're well rounded and they're well balanced and I think that helps them, not hinders them in how they actually go about the HSC journey because it is a long journey. By having these other distractions it allows them to take their mind and their focus off the HSC do some other things and then come back to it and I think that actually helps them in overcoming you know, the tremendous stresses and pressures that are associated with the HSC. Give them some space at home where they can work and feel they can work um, uninterruptedly. And I know a lot of parents say that they lose their dining room table or they lose their lounge room table or they just totally closed off that part of the house. It does pass and it's a process that, that our students have got to go through. You know, the top students do have excellent time management skills. It's something that we teach them here at school. It's something they learn from their parents at home as well and they see what their parents are doing. Sitting up the night before and trying to cram it all in is not going to work. The HSC questions don't encourage rote learning. It's, you need to understand what you're doing. In my experience, the students who do well uh, have a parent who is supportive and that parent will make contact with the school and, and engage in a relationship with the teacher and look for ways to help the student. Mostly emotional support in just helping the students keep a good balance between their schoolwork and the other things in their lives and I think that's the biggest key for parents. There's a lot of thinking and support that we can give as parents without knowing anything at all about the content of the exam. It's a great idea 
to ask your child about the text they're studying because when they tell you what they're learning about, it reinforces the learning they're doing in class. A, a suggestion we would have for families about trying to minimise the stress in the household while a, a child's doing their HSC is communication. Communication between the child and the parent about what's happening at school so that parents are informed and they can be supportive in a positive way. Sometimes parents will want to know more information from the school about what's happening with their child. We would encourage parents to contact the school to come and make appointments to see teachers or to call teachers, um, but keeping those lines of communication open is really important, even if the child isn't really, um, really thrilled about that. So as parents, it's frustrating, it's difficult, it's a time that tests our patience, but it's also a time where our, our children, and even the biggest of them, do find the child in them coming up to exams when our children need our support. And for more information about planning for the HSC, visit schoolatoz.com.au.